question. Uh, question. I want to bring in Congressman Chris Stewart, Republican. He is with us this morning. He's on the House Intelligence Committee, uh, listening to the debate last night and listening to Hillary Clinton this morning. Um, from a, a, an intelligence point of view, what did you get out of Hillary Clinton's press conference moments ago? Well, she's not telling the truth. I mean, and she hasn't been telling the truth about some of these things for a long, long time now. And she criticizes Mr. Trump for saying outrageous things, and he does from time to time. But my heavens, if we have a choice between someone who says things that may be outrageous and someone who is consistently lying, which one are you going to choose? And to me, the answer is very obvious. Uh, um, th this thing about what Donald Trump said about the generals, that they've been reduced to rubble, and about fighting terrorism by taking the oil. Does that make sense to you? Well, I haven't seen Mr. Trump's comment on that, so it's hard for me to, you know, to reply to that. And I could do so in general terms. But I, I, I will say this. If this is what he's talking about, that the military leadership has been neutered under this administration, if we've seen the politicalization, for example, of intelligence, something we've never seen before, where we're seeing intelligence that is being skewed to fit the administration narrative. If he's talking about those kinds of things, then I happen to agree with him. There's no question that that's taken place. Uh, the, I want your reaction also, if I may, to the breaking news this morning that Vladimir Putin has invited the Palestinians and the Israelis for talks in Moscow. And the two sides have agreed, in principle, to go. Earlier this morning, Ambassador John Bolton on this program said that that was an extraordinary development because it shows oh, that Putin has kicked us out of the Middle East. Your response, there's sir? Oh, there's just no question. It's a remarkable development. I was in Moscow in the last few weeks. I was in Israel last week. And the fact that they would be pivoting to Russia, looking to Russia for global leadership, are they doing that because they believe Russia is a more fair player? Of course they're not. They're doing that because they no longer trust the United States. And they don't think the United States is playing the role of global leadership that they have played for generations now. And they look to the future and wonder, is the United States going to be fair and are they going to be an important player? And they've determined that they may not be. It's a remarkable development. Uh, Congressman Stewart, I know you have to run because you're in the Iran hearing today. And I know you've got a bill which wants uh, um, the, the administration to disclose all the tax dollars that were paid yeah. in ransom to the Iranians for the release of our four hostages. Briefly, describe that bill, sir, and then we'll let you get away for the vote. Go. Well, well thanks for letting me do that. I'll do it very sure. quickly. The Judgment Fund Transparency Act just simply says the federal government should re be required to tell us where does this money come from? Who is it going to? Under what circumstances are we making these payments? We've got more than 13 payments from the State Department that are one penny less than $100 million. And it's very difficult, if not impossible, to know where that money is going. That's the kind of thing we're saying. That's nuts. For heaven's sakes, the federal government should be transparent and open and honest in these payments. This bill just requires them to do that. Uh, Congressman Chris Stewart, we know you're a very busy man, and we thank you for taking time out to be with us this Always morning. Always a pleasure. Yes, thank, thank you, you very sir. much, sir.